Floor number one. Let's drop the camera here for a second. Put this here. All right, let's rock and roll. So during my vacation in uh, July, I restored a whole bunch of vintage Hot Wheels Redline cars. If you are interested in seeing the video and the restoration videos of these cars, I will advise you to go on my second channel and very soon I will upload all the cars in the restoration process that I use. But for now, for this video, I'm going to only show you the final products and also my original red lines. So first of all, I'm going to take out this bubble wrap here. It's covering right these little cars. Now let's take a look at the first model, which is this very nice Evil Wheel original car. This is in the spoiler series, I believe, from 1970. And this one is in pretty good condition. It's a nice blue, number five. This one has a movable sunroof and two hinges, one in the back and one in the front. And this one features the cap redline wheels. What's up guys, King Racer here. Today it's time to show you my vintage Hot Wheels collection. These cars are red line from 1968 to 1972. I have over 50 cars hidden behind this vintage collector race case that I'm about to show you in a second. Hope you enjoyed the video and now let's take a look at my collection of Hot Wheels. Here we go. This one's part of the Sweet 16 cars. And put this one here. Next is the Mighty Maverick. This is one of my very first red line cars I bought a long time ago. This one's crazy, very nice shiny hood and open. White stripes and a time attack style wing in the back. And this one's a very nice speckle flame red paint. And a pretty decent base too. So this one's not a original red line, it's a custom model. I thought it would be nice to put in this collection. This is a special flame pink. This is a 1970 Dodge Charger. Anyway, let's go back to the original red lines. This one's the custom Ford Coupe. Yeah, custom Ford Coupe. This one's nice green. And I believe this one is the rare uh how they call it? Don't remember. This one's chrome after the paint. Over chrome paint. Here we go. This is a rare over chrome version. And these were used for the TV advertisement back in the day. So normally the paint is shinier than a regular green spectral flame paint. And it's better looking in person than in a camera. But uh, yeah, it's a very nice model. This was a rumble seat in the back and a very nice piece. And speaking of this model, I have three because I'm a very nice enthusiast of the 1930s and 40s classic cars and 20s also. So I bought a couple of those. This one's my probably my best condition one in blue again. Same feature. And also I've this one in a really cool purple. So three of those cars. This one's incredible because, believe it or not, I pay only 25 cents for this Mustang Boss Us. I found it in the uh, garage sale about uh, 50 meters from my house, actually, so it's pretty insane. But this was the only car I was seeing on the table. And I asked the guy hey, how much you want for this Hot Wheel and see, 25 cents. Okay, so I'm gonna take it, and this baby is clean, shiny chrome. Look at this base, beautiful. And this one's also from the Spoiler series, and in a special chrome edition they made. So pretty cool. Now let's go more European now for this model. This is the Rolls Royce Silver Shadow. This one's were one of the very few cars painted with enamel paint back in the day. 1969. Oh, you can say I pay $45 for it, which is pretty decent. Let's take a look at this opening hood. 
think these cars have V12 back in the day, or maybe V8. I don't exactly remember. But this is a sweet piece, and I also really like it. Oh yeah, you want to speak about big money on red line cars, this is one of them. Classic Cord, this is a must have for my collection, because again, I am enthusiast for these era type of cars from the 40s and the 50s, and also the 30s and 20s. And this Classic Cord was very expensive to get. And this is the most common color, it is in the light green. But I've seen cords going for well over a thousand dollar loose mint, so it's crazy. This is the original roof, so it's pretty cool. And look at his base, beautiful, and a sweet piece from my collection. Oh yeah, this one's cool also. The Fire Chief Cruiser, very cool model. Nice chrome base. And this one's the same model as the Police Cruiser. This one's released in 1971, I believe, or maybe 7. I don't remember. But, uh, this is based on a Plymouth Furry. And this is a pretty cool Fire Chief car. Oh, classic for most collectors the Hot Wheels, the Volkswagen Beach Bomb. This is a side loader version. This one I found in the uh, Value Village store for $5.99 in the bag. <laughs> Pretty crazy find if you ask me, but uh, yeah, pretty cool little bus. These are in reproduction surfboard, they are not original, but that's okay for me. And uh, yeah, pretty cool piece. And the last one for this floor is a very cool custom Amex. This one's an aqua color, open good again. Decent base. Decent wheels also, but uh, yeah, pretty cool model also. And all the cars I show you are original, so none of them here are restored. But in the next floor, a tray like this, there's gonna be some restored models. So I'm gonna come back in a second after I put them back in this one and take the other one. Okay, back with the second tray. Keep going. Here is the Maserati Mistral. Nice Hong Kong car. This is a restore model. And this casting here was pretty difficult to restore because they had a lot of paint and problems with it. So this is to go ahead with a, a darker color to get the most possible defection. This one, I have an opening hood, but it seems to be stuck for some reason. Oh, there we go. Corvette style pink hood. And a pretty interesting model. These come with and without the black roof. So I decided to go ahead and paint a black roof on mine. But you can find both variation if you have if you're looking for original one of this car. Here's our original one. This is the custom Ford Vicky. This is in, uh, I believe, orange, or maybe it's red. It's hard to tell the age of these cars. Oh, you see bent wheels. It's okay. Uh, next little cap here. Ooh, Chaparral 2G. Very cool car. This one's in the spoiler series back in 1970 or 69. One is also a restored model, but still had the original wing on it. Interesting. Another restored model and another race car is this 4J car. This is not incomplete model, it's missing the stickers. And obviously, it's gonna need some fresh new wheels. This one has a pink hood. And it's pretty cool. This one fall apart. I don't know why. Okay. I might gonna let it here for now because I don't want to scratch the brand new paint. This one's gonna be the uh, Red Baron. It's one of the cross on the helmet. This is a spectrifying red, and this is an iconic Hot Wheel car. 
and you can also see this vehicle in Toy Story, the first movie, which is interesting. If you are a Disney guy. This is a nice restored model of the uh, Dior, the first version. This one's a nice speck of flame blue. And of course with the uh, reproduction surfboard. But it's okay. It's a nice piece for my collection. I don't have to pay thousands of dollars to get a mint one. Another very nice car is the custom Barracuda in purple. Spectre Flame. Very cool shiny base. This one haven't opened good. Let's see if we can open it. Here we go. Come on, stay open. Go nice big block 440 under the hood, perhaps. Uh, this one's Ferrari 360p, I believe. This one's one of my also first redline cars I have. This one's enamel red, classic Ferrari red color. But there's some extra tampos. So very cool. And this one here, this brown Thunderbird. Also restored. Pretty cool car. Opening hood. Most of my cars are Hong Kong based models, but I have some US cars. This is one of my favorite ones. And also, the most difficult to restore this is the light blue custom Barracuda. Very cool piece. Love this one. TNT Bird. Restore Mall. Spectre Flame Red. Beautiful cars missing the stripes. I'm gonna apply them very soon with the racing number. No opening or on this one. Or opening features. This one here is the McLaren M6A, I believe. Opening hood in the back. Another racing car, Law GT 70. This one's enamel green. Be three bucks for it. No big deal. Oh, another Ferrari 512S, I believe. Same paint job as the 312P from earlier. This one is crazy. Have multiple opening features. This one seems to be sexy. I'm not gonna try it further. I you can see the beautiful engine. Another Chaparral DG. This one's broken in the back, unfortunately, but at least the engine's pretty sweet. Metallic blue. And this is also original car with the reproduction spoiler. And now we have our Ford racing car, which is the Mark IV. Also restored from a long time ago. Same pair as the two Ferraris that we saw earlier. Pretty decent. This one opening hood also. And the office is gonna use a bit of retouch to be done for this car. This one's the Air Chevy in the uh, line color. Pretty cool. I have three others of this car. This one's Aqua. This one's also gonna be uh, racing uh, circles and stripes on the hood. The last one is here in green, same color as this Firebird you can see back there with the brown T bird. Yeah, this one's gonna be for last because it's special. This one, Twin Mill Magenta, I believe. One paid three bucks for it at the uh, antique 
Toy Star. And this one here, a white. This is a Lala GT in much nicer condition. Back of fine green. And this one, the back is not broken like the other one. Pretty cool car. And this one here, it's a side loader restored. It's hot pink. So they never made a hot pink side loader beach bomb. But this is a more of a tribute to Bruce Pascal real lower beach bomb. So this is why I made this model. And this one's pretty cool. Original Spectre from Hot Pick color and reproduction surfboard. But a very unique and nice piece for my collection of red lines. And the two cars back there are models that are not finished assembled because this one is a new windstorm, as you can see, cracking. This one's a brown custom T Bird. Very cool. And this here, I don't know why, probably the glue fails to put them back together. This is a green Firebird, our custom Firebird. So that's it for the second tray. Let's take a look at the second, tr third one. <clears throat> third tray of red lines. Oh yeah, this one's very whole. One of my first red line also. This is the Police Cruiser. I was attempting to do the uh, prototype version with the black fenders. It's missing a black piece over here and goes through the door lines. And this one's the Cruiser. This is the Fire Chief version. I also paid three bucks because this car was uh, uh, basically a scrap car. I made the same for another car, I believe. And yes, yeah, this one. This one's more original to the police release in 1969. So we have a white and black sheen. And this is here, the untouched original police cruiser here, with of course a reproduction dome line because it was broken. But this is a real police cruiser, you can see here because of the removable wheels. So next here we have TNT Bird, Spectra Flame Orange, restore version, which is pretty cool. Here, and this one's a very heavy casting. This is the school bus dragster from Tom Daniels. Mattel made this model here. This one at the opening engine compartment bay. You can see this big bug catcher engine underneath with the roll bar and the seats for a driver. It's a crazy, crazy model. Very heavy. And pretty cool, awesome. And here we have the Larry Wood Rambling Wrecker tow truck. This one's a restored red line. It's missing the uh, the lights on the top of the casting. Nice Beetle Bog, original, orange. Custom Volkswagen, they call it. So interesting little piece. This one does not have a removable. Uh, removable Sunroof, however, compared to the Evil Weevil, and what we have under here, at least a Corvette seems to step. Come on, yep, so Corvette. This was also a beater that we throw enamel paint in the uh, reproduction sticker for this damp work on the roof and hood. This one's a Sugar Caddy. Yeah, Sugar Caddy from 1969. Opening hood. This one's got a big crack on the window piece. But shiny paint and shiny base. And here seems to be snake. And it looks like a sticker just fall off. Yeah. Yeah, snake. And let's take a look at mongoose. And both of them out of the tray. There we go. Of course, they both have opening. They're neat. Pretty used models. 
the preparation stickers. Same thing for this one, the Camaro. This one's in decent shape, it's missing the hood. But the blue paint is pretty cool, and nice also. And this is the most common color for this year. 1968 Corvette, uh, Camaro. With blue and the black roof. Custom Corvette. This one's original except the hood, which is a reproduction error repainted one. This one is also one of the Sweet 16, as well as this one, the Custom Fiber. This one's probably one of my best reproduction uh, restore mod. And it looks like it's more focusing. Camera's more focusing on the uh, bus in the back and the actual car here. Let me fix that for a second. There we go. A nice blue color. Shiny metal base, opening hood. And I'm not gonna show you because it's very tight here. But it does have an opening hood. And a blue interior, blue and blue. This is one here special. This is a sky ramp, I believe, because I have a hole in the back of this Diora. It's missing the ramp, of course. So eventually, we'll try to find the missing piece that goes in the back of these models. Here we have a silhouette, yeah, in green. Interesting cars, and though I'm not too much into fantasy cars, this one's interesting. And the last one here is a nice, uh, a rose color, I believe they call it. It's almost magenta, but more, more chromey shiny. Yep. Interesting. Well, that's it for the third tray. Let's go on the final one with my best cars. Okay, final tray. Let's take a look at my cars. This one. Classic cord. Nice blue. Spectre flame. This one's not original though, it's from a convention, I believe. Because the base is way too shiny, it's not the same. Copywriting and stuff right on the base and then the uh, classic cord that we saw earlier in light green But it's still pretty cool a Sweet piece. Let's put it on the turntable here Custom Cougar Aqua restored car amazing looking It's one of the open hood Pretty cool. I have another custom cougar here. This one is in hot pink. It's actually a mistake because we didn't make a hot pink custom cougar. I don't believe so. This one's pretty cool. There it is. Here, custom T-Bird. Orange with black roof. Outstanding color. Love it. Also opening hood. That's it for this one. This one, the Grand Placar. Lincoln Continental. Pretty amazing also. Looks very nice in the brown. The base. This one also have opening hood. This type of car is pretty amazing. Though it's big, it's huge, a lot of space. Underneath, you have a Cadillac in purple. Looks good. They always look better in person than in camera, let me tell you. A little bit of the dust in the back and white. Wiped up. Purple. Now let's go for another red. Oh. Fleet side. In red. The 
amazing. Oh shit. More dust. On the front tire. Mm, I can put it over here. I'm missing out of space here. Dodge Charger! Oh yeah, that is a bad boy here. My favorite car, all of them. With the classic court. So of course, that have to be the Charger. Amazing car, opening hood. And these cars are pretty expensive, just like the classic court. And the uh, Oldsmobile 442 Chargers are going for a big price. Especially if you're, you're looking for a mint original version. Next, custom Mustang. This one's special because it was a missing hood restoration. I got one with open hood scoop, which is normally a very rare variation if you have an original car. This one's not obviously the restore mod, but it's okay for me. It's pretty cool. Also, I have a red interior. So, all red car with, of course, red line tires. So, a lot of red for a single car. But that's okay. It looks sick in red like this. Another car that would be very rare if you found it original and not restored is this hot pink Rolls Royce. This was a color exclusive in Hong Kong. Uh, not Hong Kong, excuse me, UK. <laughs> what a mess I had done here. Exclusive color for UK. Hot pink Rolls Royce. Opening hood for this guy. It looks, it looks okay and pink. It's not my favorite color for red lines. But uh, found a, a real version of this one, mint original. Get yourself a light. A very big money, big dollar car. This is a very cool car. Mercedes 280 SL two door car. This one's in light blue. Pretty cool. Opening hood. And this one's painted with a black roof. You can also have version without black roof. But for me, I like this car better with black roof. I think it looks better for me. And the last ones, last two cars. Custom Camaros, both of them. This one's orange. And this one was a, a pain in the ass to restore. We'll find out in my uh, second channel why. But uh, you can also see that some stuff you can't repair. Just like the exhaust got hit by some uh, acid or something. And this was there before I restored the car, by the way. I did not make this while restoring it. So this is it. Orange Camaro. And the second Camaro is going to be this one in the magenta color. And both are US cars and both have opening hoods, of course. Just like the all the uh, Camaros from the Red Line era. This one also has outline for the door. This one does not have it. We have two variations also. I didn't take a look particularly on the blue Camaro with missing hood. I think this one also has outline for the doors, but uh, anyway. So yeah, that's it already. I hope you enjoyed my video of my classic red line cars. And I will see you in the next video very soon. And happy collecting.